patent where they update the claim section. And they just came out with one this week where they're talking about uh, question answering using a featured snippet. And in that one, uh, it just came out this last Tuesday. They said that what they added to it was something that was later in the patent. They added it to the first claim. They said, we're going to look at the confidence level of the answer, how close it is to correct, how, how, how much confidence a person might have in that answer being the one true answer, the right answer. And that's something the first two versions of this patent didn't have. They didn't talk about the confidence level quite as enthusiastically or that high up in the claim section. So that's something that seems to be more important now to Google. How, how good the answer is to a question. Yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah. Great, great, great definition about patents. You couldn't find anyone who could uh, re write about uh, patents as Bill Slavsky, but you have to, <laughs> you have to be extremely uh, eager to, to, to understand the context and to understand the materials and the body of knowledge that, that Bieslowski is putting on, on, on his website. It helps having tried to optimize websites first. Okay. Okay. I mean, some practical experience makes a difference. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So uh, that's it about the patent. Now we have just two questions uh, other than SEO. So your motto in life. My motto in life. I'm not sure I have a motto in life. Okay. I, I, uh, my father was my role model. Okay. And he passed away in 1986. Or no, Sorry. 2016. Uh, but I learned a lot from him. And one of the things I remember was when I was a teenager, when I was 13, listening to a phone call where a client had asked him if the he, he built plastics machinery. And the client had asked him if the machine he had built would reproduce their part. And he said, no, we don't, we don't make what you're making. You wanna to talk to so-and-so, here's his phone number. He's a competitor of mine. Direct competitor. And, and his, his company makes machines that do what you want. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's very inspiring. They, they said, you're telling us your competitor? He said, yeah. yeah. They said, why? He said, because he does what you want. Yeah. 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 So those people called him every time they were gonna make a business decision yeah. because they trusted him. Yeah. He was uh, truly an example. It's very inspiring how today uh, we don't have like these kind of people. <laughs> Even if you don't have that service, they would invent it rather than tell you go to my competitors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so having people trust you makes a difference. Yeah, yeah, obviously. obviously. So if, if that's a motto, that's a motto I'm taking. Yeah, that's obviously, he might, he might be uh, one of the greatest men ever. Uh, just to talk to you this, this value. Uh, perfect. Now, my last question. Have you ever visited Morocco? I have never visited Morocco. Uh, you, you had never, or you, 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 you or, or I didn't hear the... the I've, I've, I've been outside the United States. I started uh, going to some meetups and some SEO okay. uh, presentations, stuff like that in the past couple of years. The last year, didn't go anywhere. Stayed. Yeah. I, I live in California right now. Yeah. Uh, I stayed home. Okay. I wore masks to the stores and everywhere I went and so on. We tried to be safe, but uh, looking forward to doing some traveling again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We would, we would, very pleased to to have you in our country. Uh, 
Okay, so I, I, I uh, so I think in 2019, you just uh, visited Paris in France, I, I guess for, for a seminar over there. I spoke in uh, the suburb of Paris of, of uh, yeah, two years ago. Okay, two years ago. Yeah. Uh, SEO club. Okay. Yeah. I spoke in Italy. So last year I was supposed to speak in Naples, Italy. Naples, Italy, yeah. And I was supposed to speak in uh, Kiev in the Ukraine. Ukraine, yes. Both of those get canceled. Uh, canceled, yeah, because of, of the deadly pandemic. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, I, I think we would be pleased to have you in Morocco, maybe in future, we would call you for a, a, a seminar or, or a, an SEO because over here, like uh, SEO and digital is going extremely faster and it is trendy, it is new, people are now investing more than ever because of the pandemic uh, that we, we were uh, dealing with. And, uh, and uh, that's it. So. Uh, thank you, Bill. Uh, before I, I, I finished my, my interview with, with Bill, I want to thank him uh, because he had some uh, pro health problem and he, he just made a huge effort to be with us for, uh, today. And um, I really, really appreciate his presence. Uh, his presence sorry. And I also uh, wanted, sorry, I also wanted to to, uh, to make sure that uh, uh, if people wanted to reach out to you, uh, it would be Twitter, LinkedIn, or a vote? Both of them tend to work pretty well. Uh, it's probably easier to find me on Twitter. Twitter, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Bill. Any word before finishing the interview? <laughs> So the search engines are doing a lot of changes updating. They, they came out with a new language model uh, called MUM, which is wow. supposed, to be, supposed to be more, uh, a thousand times more powerful than BERT, which is uh, understanding words and content on web pages better. Being able to recognize entities and tuples about those entities, fact patterns. Uh, attributes about facts, stuff like that, is the type of thing that Google is looking at places like Wikipedia for, which uh, has a certain format that makes it really easy for Google to uh, take data from and use in indexes, use in knowledge graphs. Knowledge graphs. And if they're able to do that, from any web page, from news sites, and so on, uh, they may get better at recognizing what an entity is about, what what facts about those entities are saying about it, and it changes indexing. It makes it easier to answer questions. Yeah, and and is schema markup like uh, putting JSON LD uh, to a website? would be very helpful to, to, to deal with the algorithm. So schema markup is a way of extracting data from websites that adds a preciseness to that extraction. Uh, Google used to use and still does use data wrappers where they expect certain formats to be used to show certain types of facts like postal address information for businesses. So when, when Google was creating Google Maps, they were looking on web pages to find facts in a certain format that looked like a mailing address. So they could identify where business was located based upon that fact pattern. And they'd use what's referred to as a wrapper to identify that format, to identify addresses. Now they're using schema to find that type of stuff because it's usually based on a key value pair 
uh, description of the information. And that, that tends to be really much more precise because they're not guessing whether or not a certain thing is a data wrapper or not. Yeah. They just have the information right there and right in the script for JSON. So what, why, why uh, JSON LD and not my, micro data? JSON LD is really easy for a machine to extract from a web page. It's very machine readable. It's supposed to be, it's, it's like a robot text, uh, text file uses XML or uses uh, uh, information that it can just pull from a domain. Just grab the text file and look at that and see what's on there. And that tells us what we can crawl and what we can't crawl. What the schema is uh, in a script that Google can pull from a page or from multiple pages, and it tells it these are facts about entities that appear on these pages. And it, it, it can do that without having to uh, disambiguate, without having to interpret, without having to parse the information on web pages. It can just grab that information, read it, understand it. In yeah. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Bill, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. It was like a very valuable information that you provide us. And uh, we are pleasure as a Moroccan country. I do represent this in my country. So we are extremely eager to have you here to maybe someday, uh, not today, today we are <laughs> having you online, uh, someday in the future. So uh, I thank you so much, Bill. Uh, I thank, uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think that would be wonderful to come visit. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.